pleasant day to you all ladies and gentlemen. I am a child and not a wife is the speech I am here to present to you today and my name is Benashe Chitena from Bernard Vizeki College. I am a child and not a wife were the words said by a 16 year old girl from Chipingi after she had failed to secure an ordinary level education for herself because she had to nature for her own child. Tino, the 16 year old girl child, could no longer be educated because her parents believed in the Shona culture and got her married off at such a tender age of 16 years old. Tino has become another uneducated mother in society because she could no longer pursue her academic requirements to achieve ordinary level education. These child marriages are a result of gender inequality and the, ju and the clouded judgment that, boy that girls and women are inferior to boys and men. Ladies and gentlemen, these girls, these women are held back, constricted, and bound by the, ch that, by the chains of child marriages, and they can no longer achieve what they can for our Zimbabwe as an economy. They are no longer, achieved, they are no longer able to achieve their personal goals. They can no longer achieve their dreams, be pilots or engineers. Ladies and gentlemen, we as a nation of Zimbabwe, we as people of Zimbabwe, I, as a child of Zimbabwe, are coming to you today to help us protect the African child and abolish these child marriages. Child marriages are justified by the so-called Shona culture and religion. Ladies and gentlemen, the very reason we study history and these past cultures is to learn from the past mistakes so that us as the current generation don't make the very same mistakes. But if we justify these child marriages and continue to get children married off at, a son, at such a young age, can we say are, we doing, are we doing justice to the nation of Zimbabwe? Child marriages are promoted by poverty and lack of education. And people tend to blame poverty on corrupt leadership and bad leadership. But yes, there is corruption. But ladies and gentlemen, why are we turning a blind eye to child marriages? How can we expect Zimbabwe to develop economically, socially, and politically if the, those that are considered to be the leaders of tomorrow, the doctors and engineers of tomorrow, are married off at, a, at such a young age and do not acquire education. The, the famous physicist Isaac Newton said, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So let us hold these men accountable for the pain, the misery that they are inflicting on the girl child. Hold them accountable for the things that they are doing to our future generation, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm here today appealing to you to help us protect the African child. The reason that these people are also doing these child marriages are that they are not educate, educated. Educate them on how child marriages affect our society. Educate them on how the child marriages are affecting them as people. And educate them on how they are impacting my fellow sisters. I thank you ladies and gentlemen for your time.